because I'm not on a magazine cover. Well, you Amongst could you could be you could be a ten and not be a model. However, you are if you're a ten, you are as attractive as women who are the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah, who and are I am models. a ten. <laughs> I think yeah, I believe I'm a ten. Look at me, I'm a catch. Don't you think it's a bit of uh, hubris? Why do you want me to rate myself lower? Well, I mean, you're free to, I suppose you're free to. I'm not to, going to, though. I'm not I'm going not, to rate I'm myself not, lower. I'm not planning on forcing you to rate I know, yourself. but it kind of, like, by the way that you're talking to me, it kind of seems like you, you're, it kind of seems well, like I, you're telling me I'm not a 10, which is fine. That's your own opinion. If, but if you asked I, me to rate myself, and I'm being honest, I think I'm a 10. If, well, okay, if I said I was a 10, that would put me on par with Brad Pitt when he was young, with Leonardo when he was young. I don't know if Leo was a 10 in his prime. Was Leo a 10 in his prime? I don't know. Don't he was, he was a babe. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's okay. just like... Yeah, all right. So she, we can all, I think, acknowledge that she is not a 10. Now, this is just subjective. This is nothing against her. This is, you know, everybody's got their She's own type. Everybody's got their own type. I understand you like what you like. But a 10 is a 10, right? And I argue, actually, that almost no one's a 10 because the 10 is, like, perfect. I mean, maybe there's some models out there. that, But 10 is 10, right? So, but it's concerning to me, this delusion that some women have, because now they're being taught that delusion is the same thing as confidence and that they have to go out. I mean, you see some of these women, they're obese. They're, you know, a little homely. Let's be honest. And they're like, I'm a 10. And they're waiting for that 10 guy to come over and give them attention. And that 10 guy is not looking at them because they're looking at an actual 10. And as a result, these girls don't, these women who are maybe a five, don't give another five who's a guy a chance because they're like, oh, no, I deserve this. I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm a 10. So it's it's destructive, this kind of warped self-view. What do you think? I mean, a 10 on the Richter scale, right? No, definitely not a 10 <laughs> at all. Um, I will say this, too, you know, because here's, here's how the delusion forms, Jed. So these girls will get sexually used by, like, chads good looking guys six foot because you know she says i only date guys you know over six foot right so these girls just get used sexually they get pumped and dumped right by these guys and they think just because they're getting sexual access to these guys that they are worthy of being able to keep a relationship with that guy but the thing is when a guy has the opportunity to have sex, even if it's like a six, a seven, a five, whatever, eight, not his ideal woman that he wants to get in a relationship with, with he will still sleep with her and he will just use her and, and they'll have like this, you know, multiple month little fling. Um, but nine times out of ten, these chicks, they don't have the ability to maintain the man that they want because they've been taught to hate men their mm -hmm. whole life. And then they get caught in like, this, like perpetual cycle of disappointment, but still thinking they're worthy of this top tier man that is just using them and throwing them back out into the wild. Does that make sense to you? Oh, it does. No, it a hundred percent does. I just don't, I, I, I can't relate to that lack of self-awareness. It, it's very hard for me to relate to this. Like I'm a 10 and proudly say, and when it, when it's very obviously not the case is it's, 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 even if you're getting attention, there has to be some level of self-awareness that happens in your own body when you look in a mirror. When you, I, I don't know. I can't personally can't relate to that. I do see what you're saying, but I, I just can't imagine being deluded in that way. Courtney, uh, Courtney Ryan said something about it. She's a really smart dating coach, and um, she said, like, there is a thing known as toxic positivity. Mm -hmm. And yes. when you're just overly positive and overly delusional but you know she sounds like syndrome the villain from the incredibles you know like yeah when everybody's special nobody's special so <laughs> we're right. all tens we're all tens so we're all just then nobody's a 10 you know it's you got to think you got to thank god for the ugly people because ugly people are what make attractive people so valuable <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting way to put it if you like the short clip and want to watch another short clip click here or if you want to watch the full episode click right here